Today we're talking about this, the Legends Core. This is the streaming arcade console from At Games. They were nice enough to send me out this little product to test out and review for you guys. Retail price is $59.99. So today's video, we're gonna run it through its paces and find out if it's worth your cold hard greenbacks, baby. Now, if the premise of the Legends Core sounds familiar to you, well, it probably should, because it's essentially the natural progression of the Legends Flashback Home console that At Games had previously already released. This had 100 built-in games, both console and arcade games, came with two connected six-button Sega-style controllers. You could rewind, you could save games, you could actually even plug this up to your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet and play these built-in games on the arcade control deck, which is neat. This was retail price about $50, however, We've got the new and improved version, so to speak, right here with the Legends Core. So let's go ahead and open it up and find out what's truly unique about it. So inside the box, packing foam, we get our instruction manual. We get the Legends Core itself. Looks like a hockey puck. So we've got our Ethernet port there. We've got our HDMI. We've got our USB 3.0. We got a micro USB for power and the pairing button. Got some nice little rubber feet here so you can put it on any kind of table surface and you don't have to worry about it sliding around. A little protective film. Always satisfying to peel that off. What else we got in the box? We have a power brick adapter for a USB. And then we have a micro USB cable. Double check, make sure, oh whip, almost missed it. HDMI cable, let's get to gaming. And here we have the Legends Core plugged in and powered up. I've got a little portable monitor here, but as you can see, we got this nice glowing green LED all the way around the device, which is pretty cool. Nice little ambiance, so to speak. One thing to note though, the included HDMI cable they give you, well, it's rather small. In fact, it's 15 inches end to end. So if you plug this into the core, and depending on how tall your TV is and how your HDMI ports are set up, you may have your core device literally just dangling from the television because it's not long enough to reach you know a point to lay it down so you may be inclined to use your own hdmi cable but it is nice that at games was kind enough to provide one so first and foremost you got it powered in you got it plugged up to your tv you're like wait a minute how do i control this it doesn't come with a controller so you got a couple of options number one you can plug in pretty much any standard usb device that would work on a computer so i've got a wired xbox one controller here i can simply plug it into the back of the usb port and then I should instantaneously, yep, lo and behold, I've got control of the Legends Core. So I don't have to map any buttons, it automatically recognizes the controller, and I can follow the on-screen commands and control that way. Or, if you want to be the wireless, more sleek way, this is what you do. So you're going to use that pairing button that's located over here on the side. I'm going to hold it down. There we go. And now it brings up the wireless pairing option. So we're going to put a wireless controller in pairing mode. And then we're going to navigate this menu using that pairing button. So I'm going to tap it each time until I find the wireless controller I want to pair. Now I've already paired it, but we'll, just for the sake of argument, we'll go ahead and show you how to do it. Once I've highlighted it, I'm going to long press and hold that pair button. And it's going to start the pairing and it's already paired. So now I have a PlayStation 5 controller wirelessly paired via Bluetooth to the Legends Core. So now, as you can see, I can sit here and navigate the menus. Everything's pre-mapped, very sleek, very handy. Works on quite a few Bluetooth wireless controllers. I've, I've done this on the Xbox One controllers, PlayStation controllers. It works exceptionally well via Bluetooth. So very handy if you want to play wirelessly, you know, sitting on your couch with your Legends Core connected to the television. So. For those of you not familiar with the At Games Legends ecosystem, so to speak, let me give you a brief overview. So here we're looking at the main user interface. Now this will look very familiar for those of you already initiated in the At Games ecosystem, but for those who are not, maybe this is your first experience with it. What we've got are our four titles up top. We got our games, our arcade net, our BYOG, which stands for bring your own game, and then our settings. But right here we have a look at the 100 built-in games, a mix of console games, arcade games, you can sort and find each one in particular by going to channels, platforms, inputs. That'll tell you the 
variety of different games, different methods, groups them up into categories, things like that. But little icons like this, this little trophy right here, that means those games are part of the At Games Online leaderboard. So say I wanted to play a game of Alpine Ski and I recorded a high score, I can post that high score online competitively against everybody that is in the At Games Legends family. So people that have the full-size arcade, the gamer, the gamer pro, those type of devices, everybody can play these same games and post against each other with high scores, which is really neat and a really nice way to, you know, add some new flair to these older games. But we got some big heavy hitters. We got Aladdin, we got Bad Dudes, we got Bubble Bobble, Burger Time, City Connection, some really fun games in here. Like I said, you can make this as complicated or as uncomplicated as you want as far as how you play these games. If you just want to plug this in and play these 100 built-in games, that's completely fine. They all play great. Uh, no real input issues or lag or anything like that. Very fun games to play. And it's a really nice mix of different genres and games overall. We've got Space Invaders, of course, Arcade Classic. we got the Super Star Wars Trilogy for the Super Nintendo. Everybody loves Star Wars. You know, a lot of great games here. But let me just go ahead and pop into, you know, Aladdin and uh, show you how it plays. So you go ahead and start it up. Shows you the basics of how to play the game. Again, I'm playing off the PlayStation 5 controller, paired wirelessly over Bluetooth. So I've got the game started. You see, using the D-pad works fine. Analog stick's not working on this game, but I wouldn't expect it to either. You throw. My rewind button, it's my top shoulder here, so I can rewind the game. Very handy if you're playing something like Aladdin, you get killed really quickly. You don't want that to happen, obviously. So I can bring up my in-game menu and it allows me different things I can change. So if I want to reconfigure my button mapping, I can go down here and reconfigure the inputs on my controller. I can change the display mode. So right now it's centered and we got these bezels on the side. I can change that, make it a little wider. Or I can go full screen, stretch it out, pixel perfect. I can also add scan lines, horizontal or vertical. And, you know, really cater my gameplay to suit whatever aesthetics I like. And next up we have ArcadeNet. This is at Games Cloud Streaming Service. Now, this is free of charge at the moment. All you have to do is sign up online with account. And once you have that account, you're going to make sure you're connected to the internet. So you're going to go over to your settings. You'll connect either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So you can plug in your Ethernet cable and have a direct connection. And then you'll sign in right here. Now, I've already signed in. That's why it says sign out. But you can see my username up here. It says cool toy. And then we'll go back to ArcadeNet. And we'll just randomly pick a game to play. Go ahead and test out Metal Slug. Show you how well it works over Wi-Fi. Again, obviously, you typically want to put this on Ethernet just for the best possible experience. But I've got a pretty good Wi-Fi connection, so I'm not worried about it. Entering coins with my start button. And then I can hit bring up my menu. I can change the quality. So if I'm having issues with lag or input latency or something like that, or, you know, pixelation or the frames just looking awful on here, I can change that. I can go to display mode, change that. I can, you know, stretch my screen, do pixel perfect center fill. That way I don't have any kind of, you know, bezels on the side. I can enable or disable the joystick. I can have my input latency and my frames per second turned on. So turn it on there. As you can see, again, I'm on Wi-Fi, so my latency is going to be a little weird, but 60 frames per second is how well it's running. Which is exactly what I would hope for, for an optimal gameplay experience. I'm not noticing any issues with input delays on my controls or anything like that and again this is off of a wi-fi connection so it'd, it'd be even better if i was direct connected via ethernet but these arcade net games are free at the moment they're an awesome little bonus so to speak and it's a very cool way to play some games over their cloud network so to back out set my start button go over to quit you can also see my friends list that i can you know connect with and play some games online with, which is a very cool feature. And then lastly, we have the BYOG functionality. So for all intents and purposes, the Legends Core is essentially a shrunken down version of the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade cabinet. Now, 
Obviously, it doesn't have any controls. You got to provide your own controls, but it's capable of doing the same type of gameplay, the, playing the same games, doing all sorts of great activities. So I can add on my own games via USB. I can use their cloud network PC, which is really impressive, and run some very high-end games to play on that way. I can also do some pinball add-on games via USB. I can do coin ops. So right here, I've got a USB thumb drive. It is preloaded with coin ops and hundreds of fantastic games to play. And I'll show you how easy it is to get that going. I'm simply just gonna take this USB, plug it into the back of the Legends Core. I'm gonna select coin ops X. it looks like it has started to load so now I can scroll through find all sorts of great add-on games hundreds and hundreds of fantastic games so we'll go ahead and play good old side-scrolling beat-em-up X-Men just test it out real quick so just like before I can hit my start menu I can go to the advanced configuration so I can access things like the main dip switch settings. So for particular games, if they're too difficult, I can change the difficulty. Each one has its own little unique inputs and controls for their advanced configuration. But for this one, we'll just go ahead and leave it alone. It will restart the game every time you do make changes to the advanced configuration. Um, this time it just boots it out of there, but that's fine. We can go check out another game real quick. We'll just do a WrestleFest. And lo and behold, I'm able to play wirelessly with my PlayStation 5 controller on the Legends Core. Very awesome experience using coin ops or adding your own games. You can do streaming from a PC, so you can do it locally, or again, using their cloud network PC if you don't have a gaming PC, which allows you to play even more advanced games, things like Street Fighter V, Mortal Kombat 11, all sorts of great Steam games. Loads and loads of options. This is a very versatile little device for, you know, $59.99. It's a great option for people that don't have the space or don't want to commit to having like the full-size Legends arcade cabinet, or they, won't, they don't really want to invest in even like the, the smaller control deck options. So like the Gamer Pro, the Gamer Mini, even those things are, you know, going to take up a bit of storage space. So if you don't want to commit to anything like that, then this is definitely the cheapest and the smallest option you have available currently to get in with the Legends ecosystem and experience all the great versatility and gameplay options that the At Games Legends ecosystem provides. Now, one thing I do wish was a little different, let me go ahead and back out of this game, is on the device itself. So this does not have a power button anywhere on it. And I think that is a little strange. Um, it's fine if you don't really plan on ever unplugging it, but Say you've got this behind a, a TV console or something like that, and you don't want to always see this glowing green light. Now that's going to be a bit of a, a problem for you because you have no way to turn this off other than unplugging it. So I do wish there was a power button on it that allowed you to turn it on and off. But other than that, I think this is a great little option for people out there. Again, looking to get their foot in the waters of the At Games ecosystem and play all sorts of fantastic games. Like I said, you can play it wirelessly. You can play with multiple friends. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't want to connect multiple controllers wireless, if you just want to go the wired route, you're going to say, well, wait a minute, there's only one USB port. How could I possibly add more controllers? So you're going to get yourself one of these little USB hub. I'm going to plug it into the USB port, and then you're going to plug in your multiple controllers into the USB hub. So I've got one, two controllers plugged in to give myself player one and player two. So I got an Xbox Series X controller here and an Xbox One controller, both plugged in via USB. And then now I can play multiplayer on my Legends Core. And that does it for today's video review. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends. If you found the information helpful, I'll be sure to put some product information down in the video description box below as to where and when you can get your own Legends Core. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. It really means a lot.